Uh, Gudra's not doing anything for us now, so I may as well just go for a Fire Blast. Try it. We hit the Fire Blast, which is great. Barely any damage thanks to the thanks to that pesky light screen. Um, barely any damage. I'm going to try another Fire Blast because if we can get the burn, that'd be amazing. But I don't think we'll get the burn. But we hit two Fire Blasts in a row, which is amazing. Cody's not going to be happy about that. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Cody in the underused tier, Smogon underused, from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. And looking at the team, they got a Screamtail, Mamoswine, Hisui and Gudra, Tornadus, Therian, Chestnut and an Azelf. Powerful looking team. Very powerful looking team. So, I think Torterra can put some work in here. If we get a Shell Smash off, we can like outspeed most of the team, well, all the team, pretty much. And um, we're Terra Steel, so we can't get Revenge Kill by Ice Shard from Mamoswine. I think Torterra is going to be a really good Pokemon to use here, but we need to get their Terra out of the way for a start. And we probably need to break a few Focus Sashes. So, I think they lead with Azel, so I'm going to lead up with Necrozma, and I'm going to get up my uh, Stealth Rock straight away. It's probably what they're going to do. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Screamtail as we let off with our Necrozma. So it's not a bad matchup, not a great matchup either. To be honest with you, yeah, this Screamtail is probably going to taunt us right now. So I'm going to go for a Photon Geyser right away because I know there's not much it can do to us. They go for a Light Screen. Wait, Photon Geyser, this thing's part of Psychic, isn't it? Not Fairy. It's part, it's part of Fairy, but it, I haven't played singles in a while. I haven't seen Screamtail in ages. That did nothing. So, Light Screen obviously defends them from that. I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock now. I don't know why I went for the damage. Either way, we get the Stealth Rocks up. It's fine. We broke a potential Sash on the Scream Tail because we don't see leftovers. So, let's go for a Stealth Rocks. There we go. There was no Booster Energy or Leftovers. So we may have broken a Sash here. So, um, Stealth Rocks are up. Let's go into Scizor real quick. Um, Scizor can definitely handle this thing. And I know I just set up Stealth Rocks and everything, but I'm probably going to have to go for a Defog to get rid of those screens. Um, I don't have Brick Break on this team. So they go for a Thunder Wave. That would have been bad for my Necros, mate. It's not too bad for the Scizor, because I've got Bullet Punch priority and all that. Um, but I think what they have to do here is they have to switch out. Um, do I defog away the screens? I will. I'll defog, I'll, I'll, I'll defog the screens. Screw it. I know I know Stealth Rocks have just gone up, but we can set Stealth Rocks up later. I should have realized as soon as this is up the first screen, I should have been like, no, I'm not going to set up my Stealth Rocks because I'm going to have to defog, but it's whatever. So they withdraw Screamtail, which is fair enough. Um, they may not expect a Defog, and they're going to go into the Gudra, which probably has Flamethrower. So it's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. And um, we go for a Defog. Yes, there we go. No Paralysis, which is great. Let's get rid of those screens real quick, like so. Their Reflect wears off, their Light Screen wears off, and our Stealth Frogs disappear. Um, so that's unfortunate, but we can switch out here. Um, what I'm going to go into is, um, if I'm expecting a Flamethrower, I should go Keldeo and Secret Sword. Um, Secret Sword bypasses defense boost as well, like um, from Iron Defense, for example. So I think we go Keldeo. I think that's the best Pokemon to go into. So there we go. We're switching into Keldeo real quick. Um, we go for Applejack, like so. There we go. We have a big horn. They go for a Flamethrower to be expected. We take, take that like a absolute champ. Um, and then we just go for Secret Sword. Secret Sword, um, the odd power deals physical damage. Oh, no, no, Sacred Sword that bypasses the iron defenses and stuff. So I think we just go straight for it. There's no real reason not to. It does invite in the Screamtail. In fact, they probably are going to go Screamtail here. So I'm going to go for a flip turn, actually. And um, they do withdraw the Gudra. So we're making some good progress here. Got a bit of momentum going. And they bring in Chestnut. Chestnut also makes sense. Definitely also makes sense. It's resistant to my, uh, my water moves. It's defensive AF, so it's going to take a secret sword like a champ. We do get some rocky helmet chip, which is unfortunate. Chestnut's going to be a tough one to deal with, that's for sure. So I think the best thing to do here is to have go sh is to have go Chandelure or Gudra for the Fire Blast. Now Gudra isn't going to take a hit from this thing like Chandelure would. So I think I'm going to go Chandelure. I'm going to go Chandelure. And um, I'm going to go for a trick. And the reason I'm going for a trick here is because A, we're Choice Scarf, but we don't need the Choice Scarf this game. So I'm going to trick the Chestnut, and we're probably going to see a Screen Tail come in um, to take a hit or a Gudra. So if we can trick them as well, that'd be ideal. They do go Gudra, so we can trick the Gudra. And they might be Assault Vest, for all we know. They may be Assault Vest, so we'll trick them real quick. There we go. Trickaroo. 
And we're going to get... They get the Choice Scarf. We're going to get an Assault Vest. So that's actually worked out nicely. Which means we can actually use the Chandelure to take some hits. And we've got two Assault Vest mons, which is weird. Um, so what do they go for here? That's the real question. They probably go for a Surf, if they have Surf, or a Draco Meteor. Um, in which case, I think Scizor is the best Pokemon to switch in here. I know they won't go for a Fire move on a Chandelure. Because I could stay in and go for a Flamethrower here. Now that they're not Assault Vest. So we'll bring Scizor in. There we go. They go for a Surf. That's not going to do too much damage to us. Yeah, no, not, not much damage at all. Um, and then we just go for a U-turn here, I think. That's probably the best thing to do. So there we go. They do withdraw the Gudra because they don't want to be locked in Surf. We could have close combat for all they know. Um, and they're going to go into the Tornadus, which is fine. Tornadus is great. Nice and shiny as well. Going to love it. We go for a U-turn. Get some nice damage off on the Tornadus. And then we're going to go straight back. And I, I think the best Pokemon switch in here is probably going to be the Gudra. Or the Torterra Terra Steel Shell Smash. That's what I'm leaning towards. But they could go for a Heat Wave, which would hit us even if we're Terra Steel. That's the only problem we've got. So Gudra might be better with that Ice Beam. Not a lot on the team was switching on Gudra either. Um... I think Gudra with the Ice Beam could be good. I think Gudra with the Ice Beam is the way to go. That is the way. So we'll go into Gloober. Like so. We'll go straight for an Ice Beam. There's no real reason not to. Because even if they stay in an attack, which they aren't, they're going for a U-turn. Which is going to give them Gooey. Which doesn't matter because they're switching out. So I don't know why I even blaze the animation. Tornado switches out. And they're probably going to either bring in their Gudra. Or Screen Tail, I would guess. If I had to guess, I'd say Screen Tail. Screamtail comes in, so that is fine. What we'll do now is, because they're going to set up screens again, right? We go for the Ice Beam, it does no, it does no damage, pretty much. Let's just see how much a normal Sludge Bomb does first after Light Screen. They go for a Reflect. They expect us to switch out to Scizor, maybe? Makes sense. Sludge Bomb's going to sting a little bit. Yeah, damage. We Sludge Bomb again. We Sludge Bomb 100% again. They go for a Light Screen, Sludge Bomb should still KO, I think. They withdraw Screen Tail. They don't want to lose it. They've got the Reflect up, but they haven't got up their um, Light Screen. They're going to go into their own Gudra, who is Choice Scarfed, who is a, immune to Sludge Bomb, which makes sense. Um, and now what we do is we have to switch out because they're going to drop a Draco. And I don't want to be there for it. They may expect the Scizor and go for a Flamethrower, actually. So I think I'm going to go Chandelure. Chandelure is Assault Vest as well, so it can take a Draco no problem. And if they go for a flamethrower, we get that flash fire boost, which is amazing. So Sulaway is going to come in the uh, Chandelure. There we go. Chandelure is in. They go for the flamethrower, expecting the scissor. Yes. That's what we like. So now we can go for a flamethrower of our own, and it's going to do some damage. It's going to do some mad damage right there. So they withdraw the Gudra. What are they going to bring in to take a flamethrower, though? Are they going to sack Screamtail? Tornadus. How's Tornado's going to take a Flash Fire Booster Flame for that, I wonder? Unless it's Assault Vest as well. Ooh, nearly a KO, which is amazing. So I'm going to go for another Flame Throw here. They can go for a knockoff all they want. There's the knockoff. We're going to take it like a champ. It does about 50%. There we go. Take it like a champ. Um, and then we just finish the Torn off with a Flame Throw. So that's perfect. So Chandelure putting in the work right now against this team. We get the Flash Fire Boost. We get the Flame Throw off on the, the Tornadoes twice. KOing the Tornadus, and we take a knockoff like a champ. A Zelf comes in, so this thing is an interesting one. So it could be a lot of things. It could be a uh, Stealth Rock Setter, it could be offensive, and there's a lot of things it could be. And I think it's going to be offensive with Shadow Ball. I think that that's what we can expect here. So I'm going to switch into Gudra. Gudra doesn't really care too much about a Zelf if it's the special set, especially. If it's the explosion set, then maybe it might do a lot of damage, but. I don't think they'll go for Explosion now if they are. Shadow Ball. So there we go. We, we made the right play by switching Shandy out of there. And now we can just freely drop a Draco, which is what I'm going to do. And if they bring Screamtail in now, then we can go... We don't lose our special attack, and we can go straight for a Sludge Bomb, even if they like Screen or KO. So they're going to withdraw the Azelf, which makes sense. And they're going to go into the Gudra, which also makes sense. Gudra is not a Salt Vest anymore, though, so it's going to take some damage from this Draco, and it doesn't have any recovery. They want to put recovery moves on it if um, it's a Salt Vest, which it was. Um, so that does some nice damage. Not too much, though. So we still have all six Pokemon. That's wild. Um, I think this turn we go into Scizor. 
Because they're choice scarfed. I think this turn we go into Sizzle, so I'm going to do it. I don't think they go for a Flamethrower. If they do predict the Sizzle and go for a Flamethrower this turn again, even though we got them with the Shandy earlier, I think that's a really ballsy play. Um, they go for a Surf, which is going to sting a little bit. Not too much, though. Not too much. The Reflect wore off anyway, so we'd have to go for a Defog. I'm actually leaning towards Swords Dance, but I'm more leaning towards U-Turn. I think u turns the way because they're going to go Chestnut if they switch out. They don't switch out. They go for a Surf. Takes us right down. We go for a U-turn. Bit of damage. Are they Gooey or are they Sap Zipper? It looks like they're Sap Zipper. Or they could be Shell Armor. And let's see how this plays out though. I'm going to go into... I want Necrozma in to get the Stealth Rocks up. Break that as Elf's potential Sash. Because they don't have a Hazard Clearer. I think I will go Necrozma here. I think Necrozma is a good switch, so we'll go to Lightless the Necrozma. First things first, we set up the Stealth Rocks. That's one way to go. I think that is the way. Stealth Rocks are up. We know they're locked into Surf. So we can just go for an Earth Power the next turn, and it should do a lot of damage to the Gudra. They go for the Surf. Let's see how well we take it. Ah, like a champ. Like a champ. So now we just go for an Earth Power, and they should just stay in here. They stay in now. And Gudra goes down. So there we go. So Gudra's out of the way. Gudra is out of the way. And um, we're, we're looking good right now. I think this is a good comeback game for the... You know, this team was uh, pretty well fought out. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a decent team. And, and so is my opponent. So I think we're doing really well. Cody's a really good battler. Like, I always lose to Cody. <laughs> Unless I get, like, some BS hack stuff. Um, so I think now I sack off Scizor. So that's what I'm going to do. Sack off Scizor. There's no real reason to keep Scizor around. Like, Bullet Punch could come in handy against the likes of the Mamoswine, maybe, but it's at low HP, and I'm pretty sure Mamoswine out of speed, where I'm, I'm pretty sure I shard while I KO us from here, so we may as well just sack off Scizor. Shadow Ball comes through. Down it goes. Because I didn't really have a switch in. I have Gudra, but if they go for a trick, we'll be in the same situation they were in with their Gudra, and I don't really want that. So, um, knowing they could be locked into that, probably not. I think the best Pokemon to go into is going to be the... So that Chestnut being a thing is stopping me from going into the, the Torterra. That's the problem. I think we go Gudra and drop a Draco. I think that's the way to go. Here we go, Gudra. We drop a Draco like so. If they go Scream Tail, we still have our special attack and we can go for a Sludge Bomb. Psy Shot comes through. They aren't choice. They are probably Focus Ash. Stings quite a bit. We're going to miss the Draco. No, we're not. Nice. And that cleanly takes out the Azelf. Gudra coming through for us right now, which is amazing. So, they still have a way to beat us, and that's Chestnut. We do not have much for Chestnut other than the Chandelier. Um, so, we have to be really careful. But Screamtail is going to come in right now. It's floating! I love it when it does that. Love it when it floats like that. They all float down here. Uh, let's just go for a Sludge Bomb. I don't see any reason not to. Unless they have Play Rough, we should be fine. I don't think they'll have Play Rough, though. Light screen. So light screen makes sense. We have got a lot of special attackers on our team. Um, so we go for a sludge bomb here. It's going to do massive damage. Takes out the screen tail. Which is nice and shiny. I like the shiny screen tail. It's really cool. It's a really cool shiny screen tail. Is. Chestnut comes in. What's Chestnut going to do? I thought they were bringing Mammoth Swine. We haven't terrored yet. Which is probably what they're fearing. We are terror poison though. So they could earthquake. To be fair, it doesn't matter if we can terror or not. Uh, Gudra's not doing anything for us now, so I may as well just go for a Fire Blast. Try it. Why not? We hit the Fire Blast, which is great. Solid damage to the chest. And the barely any damage thanks to the... Thanks to that pesky light screen. Um, barely any damage. I'm going to try another Fire Blast, because if we can get the burn, that'd be amazing. But I don't think we'll get the burn. But we hit two Fire Blasts in a row, which is amazing. Cody's not going to be happy about that. That's a crit and a half. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, Mama Swine can come in, though, and finish us off, which is um, fine. Can Mama Swine make a comeback, though? That's the real question. I don't think it can. We go for a Draco. We drop a Draco real quick. There we go. We outspeed. We drop a Draco. We get a crit. No crit. And we already had a special attack drop as well. That's why the crit matters so much. <laughs> the crit matters so much. That poor Chestnut. Chestnut could have made a comeback for them as well. Well, Mama Swine takes us out. Uh, Mama Swine takes out Chandelure. Outspeeds as well. We're not Choice Scarf anymore. 
The Crowsman's not going to really take an Earthquake really well. So Terry's out of the question. We could Terry Steel and Bullet Seed. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. I'm Terra Steel Bullet Seeding with uh, Torterra. Terra Steel Bullet Seeding with Torterra. They may predict this and go for an Earthquake, but I'm confident we can live an Earthquake. I'm confident we can live an Earthquake with Torterra's natural bulk. I think, personally. So let's see how this plays out. Um, we are uh, taking a risk here because if they go for an Earthquake right now, predicting the Terra, then that's a good play. They terrestrialize themselves. Ooh, what the heck are they going to go into? Is it going to be enough to make a comeback? Dragon. Oh. Didn't expect Terra Dragon. That's actually worked out really nicely for them. So we go for Blizzard. We actually outspeed, which is interesting. And that's not going to do anything. Not a thing. There we go. And we at least hit pretty much all the times that we need to. That's five, right? That's five hits at least. Um, now they go for an earthquake. They predicted the terror and went for an earthquake. The sods. Oh, we lived. We live. We go for a headlong rush. We go for a headlong rush and hope it KOs. If it doesn't KO, it doesn't KO. If it does, it does. That was a really nice read there with the earthquake on the terror steel, I will say. Headlong rush comes through though. Cleanly takes out the mammoth swine. And that's going to be the game. So GG Cody, that was a really fun one. And um, there was a bit of hacks there for you. That chestnut unfortunately went down to a crit fire blast. Wow. I <laughs> can't believe it. You just can't believe it. GG Cody. But anyway, here is the team tried out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.